Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diane, and today, today is September 11th, 2014. Here are your news updates for today, and I'm going to give a free consultation. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, play the music at the beginning. That way, it's just uploading for my regular channel. The Watchers watching the world. Two CMEs heading towards Earth. Severe geomagnetic storms expected. Major solar flare measuring X 1.6 erupts since Earth-directed CME. So heads up. Brit British weather set to become more unsettled. Alrighty then. Moving on. e, &E News. Energy News. Japan Fukushima. Secret Fukushima testimony revealed plant chief considered disemboweling himself after explosions. I should kill myself. That's his quote. I would never do that. Smoke seen at number three reactor before blast. I figured this was the end of plant. At start of crisis, I was in despair, panicking. I could not afford to logically think. Alrighty then, on September 9th, senior scientists, Fukushima reactors like Swiss cheese. No one knows how far melted nuclear fuel has spread. Newspapers, highly radioactive water thought to be coming up from ground and directly into open ocean, bypassing Plants Bay. Other substances making contamination more serious. Alrighty, moving on. e, &E News, Energy News, U.S. Canada. Plutonium found in city near 30 mile, nearly 30 miles from U.S. nuclear site. Newspaper explosion melted through contain, container causing radioactive release. More PU went airborne than all other types of plutonium combined, yet not included in test results. Let's see where that was from. And I hope I can get back to what U.S. city. Heads up! <laughs> what city is this? Let's see if it'll go to that. It's probably blocked. It'll probably mess everything up. Let's see where it is. Let's see if I find more information on this one. Carlsbad Current Argus. Okay, wherever that plant is, is Carlsbad Current Argus. September 9th, 2014, DOE will provide WIP update. Oh, okay, so in that area around WIP, heads up. Alrighty then, let's see if we can get back to anything else that they're talking about. So that was around the WIP area. Heads up, everybody. Okay, September 10th, 2014. Head scientist, I used to think I knew why mystery epidemic is disseminating millions of West Coast starfish. But now I don't. Toxic pollution now suspected. Fukushima not dismissed as cause. California professor, significant levels of fallout got into our coastal food web. Marine life exposed. It's not good. Oh, well, they're telling us now after 1,200 days. There you go. Heads up. Now. Now. Even with Max in the background, hopefully he won't get too upset. 9-11. I'm going to attach a thing uh, maybe before my show. Because I haven't attached it yet. Or maybe I'll attach it afterwards. It was on... Uh, Got it off of Tattoo's channel. Two minute tattoo, 1009. All right. And it had to do with C SPAN. Had a whole thing on 9 11. Now, and they're talking. Here's the question. This is the big question now. Maybe I can answer the, or, or raise another question. Here's your free consultation to the scientists and the architects. And everyone else wondering, the, the biggest question is, were there explosions before the buildings came down? 
and I watched this 40 minute presentation about all the architects and everyone arguing about how the building came down and there must have been thermite explosions and so forth uh, it, I was thinking about it and if there were explosions there would be proof of that and then you should make this go viral my video if there were explosions wouldn't the size uh, seismographs pick that up prior to the buildings collapsing wouldn't the seismologists have that on their charts the geologists New York has been known for earthquakes it's earthquake prone. They even made some movies about earthquakes. So I'm sure there are seismographs all through that area. Why doesn't someone pull the seismology charts and see if any explosions, especially on the level that they're talking about, wouldn't that show up on the uh, seismographs? Hmm. If fracking doesn't, a little bit of fracking shows up, I would assume that if if they were taking out 47 floors just in building 7, not including the other two, and they had it, and, and he was talking, I'll, I'll show the presentation from C-SPAN, wouldn't, and they had to go off all at once, there should be a record of that in the seismology uh, department there so grab those records look at it if there was an explosion it might have registered and it should have registered on the seismographs alrighty then just a thought no one thought of it I guess yet but the main issue is were there explosions before the building came down if it was like a controlled demolition it should show up on the seismographs shouldn't it alrighty then food for thought take care maybe we just ended the mystery if there were explosions or not alright and I'll see you tomorrow on the flip side I'm gonna start doing one every day but I still am limited to 15 minutes and I can't attach stuff on my channel not until November that's why I've been just putting everything under recent uploads but I'll put it I'll put this on both recent uploads and the other upload part alrighty then take care do your research everyone share this with all your the architects and, and all that this forward it on should be on the on the seismographs if there was some kind of explosion then you'll know all right, take care. Be prepared for anything. All righty.